Let's see. It's so warm in here now. Oh. All right, be free, Monty. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Monty's been trying to get me up for a little bit now, so I figured I'd just let him out. It's very warm in here. I am too warm. It's 9.30. We slept in an extra half hour. Well, I suppose... It's time to get up. Let's do it. Oh hi. Oh hi. Oh hi, big guy. Look at that floofy booty. Oh, let's clap your legs. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, that's a good boy. Hi. Oh, frisky. Frisky. Oh. What a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning, oh yeah. Monty, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're gonna fall in the water. You're gonna fall in. Oh, it is just blue skies. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's gorgeous out there. I slept like a rock last night. I slept even harder than the first night. I slept so hard, in fact, that I just didn't want to get out of bed. I don't know what the heck the deal is. I think I'm, that, 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 last night felt like the best sleep I've ever gotten out in the woods. It's just, I just slept so hard. Oh, but I feel fully refreshed and energized. Oh. So I suppose, you know, we don't got far to go today. Just like one big portage, a couple little portages, and fishing. We got to catch a fish dinner. It's about time. We've been out here two nights, one day, but two nights. So it's time to go for a fish dinner. Okay, so. I need some food. Let's kick off the coffee and oatmeal sequence. Go! He's so funny when I throw the stick. He starts to run too fast and then he growls. Listen. I didn't do it that time. Come on. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Sometimes he does it more than others. He'll go like, arr, 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 arr. Oh boy, you're so happy. You're so happy you're fetching that stick with joy. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> oh, stinker. You must first put the fuel in process and then light it on fire. Add the pot 
Come on, I'll pull on the screen. Another water. Oh, well, the coffee grounds. Island, island. You must never forget about the pressures. The process is ours. Take it off. Pull it in. Put it back on. More water. And there's it down. Super process. First sip of coffee. What the heck? <clears throat> well, last time I sat on this rock and ate breakfast. Breakfast was a lot more delicious than oatmeal. One nice thing about the cold temperatures is you can bring out more food. That's like real food. Well, this is real food. You know what I mean. Well, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my oatmeal. And then we are going to pack up, get on the boat, and get to fishing, paddling, portaging. And we are off. Oh boy, it's gonna be a hot one today. I'm just not cut out for this hot weather. I mean, it's supposed to get up to like 72 today. Whew. 72, might as well be in the desert. Am I right? Oh, there we go. We got a Monty cell right off the bat. So Monty is gonna be swimming a lot today because it's hot. Now, now we need to talk temperatures real quick because uh, you know some of you that are watching, you say 72, wow, that's cold where I'm from. Or you know, some people might even think 72 is like insanely hot. It's just all relative to what you're used to in your average temperature. I would say average for me, is like 60. So when it gets up to like, I mean average, I mean, I don't even know what I, where I pulled that number from. Comfort zone is 60 for me. 60 in the sun, that's comfort. 72 in the sun, hot. 80 in the sun, I'm dying. And you gotta remember that it's humid up here. Very humid. So, there's dry heat and there's humid heat. If it's 72 and dry, it's not gonna feel that bad. If it's 72 and muggy and humid like it is, it feels real sticky. So, um... I got the sunscreen near the top of my bag. I'm not gonna use it on this side because we don't got too far to go. And I'm probably gonna sweat. So uh, I'm gonna apply it once we get to the next lake after the portage. Just cause you know, I don't wanna sweat. And I think we are definitely gonna be doing some swimming today. That's probably gonna happen. But I need to get a lure on. We need to take a few casts. That's also gotta happen. The shade feels so nice. The shade is perfect. Or the sun with some breeze. But we're gonna cook today. So another little thing I'd like to talk about quickly, for those of you that have been following the channel and seen me canoe camping in previous seasons, is why am I wearing my black logo shirt? What the heck, where's the white shirt that gets super dirty? Well, I have a little bit of a confession to make. 
you may or may have not have noticed, but I don't like to spend a lot of money on shirts. I'm not a clothes guy. So 99.99999 repeating till the end of time of my shirts are Hanes cotton tees. <laughs> all of my clothes, pretty much. Hanes cotton tees, and they all get shrunk up and dirty, and I've got, mo I used to have mostly white. I used to go only white for years. Only white, that's all, I was like a cartoon character. I'd only be wearing white shirts. If I was gonna go out to a fancy dinner, I'd wear a brand new white t-shirt. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd dress up, I'd, get, I'd spend the big bucks. Anyways, <laughs> so that's pretty much all my clothing, is that. And then uh, off my Teespring store, when I made these, these are a tri-blend shirt. I'm not, I don't know, tri-blend, whatever, but uh, I ordered a couple for me and Funk, and uh, they're the nicest shirts I own because everything else is cotton, and cotton is not good for drying out. Cotton, every time I bring them, you know, they, they stay pretty damp on my body, but sometimes that helps me cool, but yeah, they don't really dry out. These, on the other hand, are tri-blend. I think there's some cotton, but these dry out much faster, and they feel nicer. Now, the black, currently I would prefer white on my body because this is absorbing heat now. Black absorbs, white reflects. But yesterday, in the chillier wind, uh, the black was nice because it's kind of heating up, keeping me toasty when it was chilly. So, ups and downs. And uh, I don't know if this one shows the Monty hair. You can see it all over the place. But uh, I don't know how it's going to show dirt and stuff. Probably not as much. I liked, I kind of liked seeing that in my white shirts, like how much dirt I picked up, how grimy I got. <laughs> it's, I know it's not as, it's, it might be gross to some people, but I'm out here being grimy as is, so it's whatever. All right, I'm going back to a quarter ounce jig head for now, um, just because it's less tangles with how I've got my, how I'm used to casting. I was tangling like crazy yesterday. I feel like the fish will be a little bit deeper, and if this goes in the face of a pike or something, they're going to bite it. Walleye might be more finicky, but I don't know. We haven't been having much luck anyways. I'm going to take some a few casts here and there. And we're really going to be doing our fishing today on uh, the lake we're staying at. So we're just going to take a few here and there. Nice trees, nice drop-offs, and just keep skadoodling. So you'll notice that I'm not wearing my life preserver a lot. That's something I'd like to touch on. That is not a smart decision, okay? I'll admit that. I, I know it's better to wear your life preserver, especially when I'm out here by myself, but it is a choice. I, I don't have to wear my life preserver. I feel comfortable, especially on a day like today. No big waves, just a nice breeze. It would take something crazy to, you know, Monty would have to get up and like fall out of the boat. And even then like, I've had some close calls and it's been fine, but uh, yeah, that's a choice. It's always smart to wear your life preserver. I would always suggest wearing your life preserver. The reason I'm not is because it's too warm right now. I feel comfort comfortable and confident, and maybe one day that'll be the end of me, but I, yeah, it's like, look at it, there's no waves, nothing. Anytime it's rough water or rough weather, I put it on, but uh, yeah. I'm just warm, comfortable, I'm all right. Like I said, it's a choice, and I compare it to riding a motorcycle with no helmet, because that is also, I don't believe, a smart decision, but I understand why some people do it. You know, just freeing, just like this, it's freeing. Uh, helmets can get warm, just like uh, life preservers can get warm. Monty seems fairly comfortable at the moment. Pretty warm. But it's all about how comfy your Monty is. If your Monty's having a good time, you're having a good time. And I know he's gonna need to swim today. I usually use his panting as an indicator if he's too hot, but his fur feels a little hot. But it's as crazy as you think it is for a dog to be in the heat with that much fur, it serves two purposes. It insulates him in the winter from the cold 
and it also insulates him in the summer from the heat. Now, obviously he's gonna be, he's still gonna get warm, but it definitely is hot on his fur and cool on his skin, more or less. Especially once he gets wet, then the water kind of stays on his fur. He stays nice and cool, but the, it dries out on the outside. And that's why he's a pain to dry. Yesterday it took all day I only had him swim early on and then he dried out by the end. I didn't even need a towel dry him, but today, as soon as we get to this portage and get it done, I'm gonna to toss him a stick and get him wet. And probably periodically throughout the day, we'll just stop and cool him off. Take care of that Monty. Maybe we'll just have him swim to this portage. Yeah. Monty, what do you say? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, see you, Monty. Come on, Monty. Monty, we gotta go. Come on, Monty. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Dang it. Dang nabbit. He didn't swim very far, just across the little gap there. I bet you feel better now. That was the first boot fill of the trip. But luckily I've got my waterproof socks on, so I don't think um, my foot's gonna be too wet. I can't really tell because it's just the cool water in there, but it doesn't really feel wet. I did this before, I've soaked it already with these socks on and it just was fine. So we'll see. See if it leaks in there or not. We'll check it in a, in a bit. Once we get to the next lake, I'll probably take it off and let my boot try to dry out a little bit. But anyways, we've got our portage to the next lake right here. So let's do it. He whines sometimes for no reason. He he knows it feels good. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna say it anymore. He's just a little turd nugget. Cause he loves swimming. Right, Monty? You always ask me to throw the stick more. Yeah. Anyways, I I am just sweating. This was a small porch. It was pretty much up and down. Just I went up and over a ridge down. The next one is gonna be the roughest one. It's actually the roughest one of the trip. Why, Monty? But uh, yeah, I just need to uh, cool off here for a minute and dry out so I was sweating so that I can put sunscreen on. I definitely, I don't want to put, I don't got a ton of sunscreen so I need to conserve it and I can't just keep applying it, applying it, applying it. I got to strategically put it on so I need to be fully dried out, you know, so that it's not just running all over and I'm wasting it. In hindsight, I probably should have brought more sunscreen because I kind of knew I was gonna be it was gonna be sunny pretty much every day. Go ahead, Monty. You ain't complaining now, are you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, what oh, is this? Real nice. Oh, it's, it's just nice, cool water. You know, I could drink it, I could play in it, cools me down. Uh, I bet you the stick. Out in the wilderness. What more can a dog ask for? Yeah. My point exactly, Mr. Monty. Just a grown man out in the wilderness talking to himself from his dog's perspective just dawned on me. <laughs> but it's fine, I'm cool with it. <laughs> All right, I'd like my knees to get a little sun. 
So let's do a little experiment here. Well, not really an experiment. I'm going to do this either way. But let's see how waterproof these socks are. I submerged this boot. Okay, I misstepped, filled with water, completely filled. Did a portage. See how much water is coming out? I already dumped it, and this is just what's squished out. Lots of water in there. So, let's see how wet my foot is. In, I'm gonna take off the water, whoop. Take off the waterproof sock. Let's see if it's waterproof. Now, one thing with waterproof stuff is when you're putting pressure on it, like walking around in a wet boot. Oh, check that out. Whoop, perfectly dry. 100% dry sock. That's crazy. I mean, that says a lot because, you know, I'm, I'm, I have water and I'm stepping and squishing and pushing into this waterproof membrane that's on here, whatever this is made out of, and it's bone dry. That is awesome. I love these things. Now, word of warning, like I said, they do not last more than a year of heavy use as the one downfall of these things. Because like these boots, you know, they just get worn out and torn, the backs of it. And I mean, it worked all winter. Let's see if there's any in this one. No, this one's dry, but I'm still gonna take it off just because it's warm right now. So yeah, like I said, they don't last super long, but hey, in my eyes, it's worth it now. Like having dry feet is huge all year. Dry feet is huge. And it just like, I swear, it pulls the moisture out of your sock and your foot and breathes it outside. Oh, yeah. All right, seems like the wind has shifted which way it's blowing, because yesterday it was blowing this way, because this, this lake is running the exact same east-west direction that the other lakes have been. And uh, now we're going into the wind well. Feels like it's coming from over here. Maybe, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be coming from south, which is this way. Right? So, no, maybe, I don't know. Either way, it's changed, but it doesn't feel bad. As long as it's not crazy gusting, I mean, I don't mind paddling into the wind. It's actually gonna keep me cool. Help me fry a little better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, we're gonna just troll on this lake. I'm not gonna cast, it's a long, narrow lake. We're just gonna enjoy the paddle. Kinda keep quiet a little bit. See if we can see any wildlife, which I doubt we can. I doubt they'll be out. Oops. So we've got that same spoon we went with yesterday. Big old three quarter ounce uh, gold and orange hammered spoon. Let's see if we can prank up a fish. I want a big old pita pike. That's what I'd like. Okay, so I've just had my suspicions confirmed. I just ran into the first people I've seen on this trip and uh, asked them about fishing and they said it has been slow, slow, slow. They've been hitting all the right spots, doing all the right things, and they're not catching anything. The only luck they said they've had has been northern pike scarcely on the lake that I'm actually heading to for a lake trout, and I did ask them about lake trout and they said they haven't really fished for them at all so that's good news for us but uh yeah seems like they're in the same boat and that's it's exactly what i'm thinking you know the bugs aren't crazy the water's really cold so hopefully this warm weather is going to start to warm up this water a little bit and make them a little more active it's okay that's all okay i do feel confident about the lake trout that is one thing that i feel like i just i just I hope I'm getting a lake trout. A lake trout. Come on. 
Come on. If we do happen to get a Larry, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna, A, hang him over the side of the boat while he's in the net? Or B, put him, put the net over the boat? I waited all day for you, Larry. Thinking A looks cooler, so we'll do that. Yeah. I've waited all day for you. That was my first cat. <laughs> Got our first snag. Had the drag set too tight. Oh no, I didn't. That was weird. I just didn't want to pull out drag. Scared me though. I wasn't expecting it. I haven't had a snag, a single snag trolling yet. So I was just like sitting here and then all of a sudden I hear like crick crick crick. I was like, oh almost thought I had a fish for a second. <laughs> Why? Why no fish? For the longtime viewers of this channel, um, you'll know that I post every Sunday by 10 a.m. if I can, and later if it's just not ready and I've just been editing or I record that day. You know, that happens. But 10 a.m. is a, like, I'm prepared video this Sunday. But every Sunday for over two years now. And, you know, for you longtime viewers, you know that I don't go camp, I don't have camping videos every Sunday. It's like, you know, a camping video, maybe another one next week, then like an update video or a hike and cook and then another camping video. It's, it's it's usually not just straight camping videos every Sunday, you know, because they can't get out that often. But if everything goes according to plan this summer, uh, I've got high ambitions and there is a potential for just a majority of uh, lots of camping videos every Sunday. I'm going to spoil you guys and spoil myself at the same time because I, this is this is my favorite. Out of all the camping I do, bushcrafting, winter camping, uh, whatever camping, canoe camping is my favorite. Absolute favorite. And above all, the creme de la crop, the creme de la whatever it's, it's called, um, is wilderness uh, extended trips. Like this is, this is my jam right here. You know, whether I'm solo or with friends, it's my jam. I love it both. So, what I'm trying to say is lots of canoe camping videos coming up um, and lots of extended trips potentially. So I've got this one right here and then the next one I'm going to go with my dad and my brother for a week. That's going to be towards the end of June. Then after that, around July, I'm going to do a potential four-nighter with Captain Teeny Trout and uh, we're going to come out here. He's been excited to go. And then um, I'm going to do a week in the fall or more with Funk and Ruger. And then another week or more in the fall of a solo trip. Now, that's a lot to do. And in between that, I'm going to hit all my usual favorite spots, you know, where I catch trout and all those spots. I'm probably going to go out with Funk and maybe some other friends and lots of camp in the summer. I've just been, this, this winter dragged on so long and I've had made so many plans that I'm just gonna be just going crazy. And you know, you guys are gonna get to see a lot of me in the boat here chatting. Yeah, <laughs> get used to it. If you don't like it, you better go to another channel because <laughs> there's lots coming. But um, like I said, I've mentioned this before, the only trips that I'm going to make, the extended, long, many episode trips are my solo trips. So this trip right here is gonna be probably an episode every night. So I'm gonna release on Wednesday, Wednesdays and Sundays for three weeks. And then um, when I go with my dad and my brother and I go out with Captain Teeny Trout and I go with, Funks might be extended too, but maybe not. We'll probably condense it. Um, those are gonna just be one video with all the whole trip included. And the reason I do that is because when I'm solo, there's a lot more me chatting with the camera. There's a lot more me time. I, I can take as much time as I want. I don't worry about anyone else. And I set up shots and this and that. And I mess with Monty more and yada yada. When I'm with other people, I'm focused more on talking to them and enjoying myself with them and less on the camera and chatting and whatnot. I'm, I'm not chatting to the camera as much. I'm chatting to the people there and <clears throat> you know, like that. So that's the reason being for the difference in extended. So you'll get a little bit of both. 
pretty curious to see how the Rugs does this year on an extended trip because he hasn't got to do that. I mean, his first canoe trip extended was his four nights when he was a puppy. He was four months old or three months old, three or four months. Three or four months old, he had a four night extended trip here in the wilderness and it was kind of cold and that's when he developed his blastomycosis, or no, he had his blastomycosis. The cold brought out his cough and when he got home he was diagnosed with blastomycosis and that was terrible. But he's all cured now, he's all good. He's a little bit of a wild child, but you know, I'll still get him out on some overnights with me in the canoe, but I can't do an extended trip like this with Ruger because, well Ruger and Monty, because Ruger has to sit right here in between my legs. <laughs> and ain't no way I'm doing that on a big trip or big water where there's a chance of big waves and storms. Ruger, you know, he's a good boy, but he has to sit in between my legs and it's just not gonna work. Monty just has got his first mate's position out in the back here, fully accepts it, and whenever we get into crazy weather, he just lays there. He's been, we've been going through crazy waves and wind and he's just getting rain blasted in his face, and he just lays there. Just lays there and takes it because he knows that's the best and he just lets, lets me, the captain, take over and get him to safety and get him warm and dry. Oh, ah, there's a snag. Ah, oh, jeez. Dang it. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought it was gonna be a fish for a second and I was gonna be like, yes, yes. So a snag. Put the mont in the monty tonty tont. Who put the mont in the monta t t t t? Who put the mont in the monty tonty tont? Who put the mont in the monta tont and tonty? Monty, monty, monta tont. Who put the mont in the monty monty ding dong? Mont tont tont. Mont tont tont t t t Monty, do you wanna go for to the doggy park? Do you wanna treat at the Monty Tonty Dog Park? Do you wanna go for to the dog to dog to park? Do you wanna Monty at the Monty Tonty Ting Tong? Plane! Hey, Plane. Okay, it's time to get suited back up with all my stuff and take care of the most fun portage of the whole dang trip. So really quickly before I do this portage, I have to do a little bit of a major repair. The only reason I didn't notice sooner was my waterproof socks. I mean, check this out. That is my muck boot. And that is a tear. What are you doing? Are you mad about my muck boot too? Monty, you're hearing your echo, please. Please, Monty. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I thought I felt water going into my boot, and I checked, and I, I thought I checked, but it's like, it was like, I don't know, I just didn't see it, because it was at night the other day, but I don't even know how that happened. I don't know what the heck that was sliced on, but that's a big gash, the biggest gash I've ever had in a muck boot. So I'm gonna put some duct tape on it and repair it, hopefully it'll hold. But either way, I got my waterproof socks, so I'll be fine without it, but yeah, that's a big one.
Oh, oh, hang on, TGs. Oh, oh, that's cold water. Oh, hey, Monty. Oh, it feels good. But it's so cold. Ow! Monty, you get me. Hi, Monty. I just needed a quick rinse. This water is pretty dang cold, so I can see why the fish aren't biting. Whew. Normally I'm an Audi, but uh, today I'm an Innie, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Half the sass. Okay, I'm getting out of this water. It's a little nippy, I'm going numb. Hi, Monty. Oh, that plane's just flying around all day today. Oh gonna have myself a lunch break. I feel good. Monty, I feel so refreshed right now. I feel like a million bucks. A million bucks. Monty just had his denty treat. So he had his little snack. Oh, heaven to Betsy. I needed that. I was wondering what the heck it was because it was going on so long, but it seems like it's just flying around. I don't know who's in it for what reason. But they've been, they've been going around for hours. Now we're gonna have a little cheese. I'm gonna eat the cheese and some beef jerky quick because I have my food bag in the shade in the sun, it's just gonna, everything's gonna heat up so fast. You don't want to get your cheese too warm. I mean, it's fine, I'm gonna eat it no matter what. But still, colder cheese better than warm cheese. But I might take a little warm cheese over frozen cheese. Frozen cheese is no good either. All right, Monty, you gotta help me choose the cheese. Do you want extra sharp yellow or Vermont sharp white? Come on, come here, touch. Oh, I guess you're go we're going with the white one. We went right for it. All right, you can have one big chunk. That's a big chunk for a doggy. Oh. Drop in the water. I'm just gonna bite off mine. Mm. Mm. Oh, cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. Caved and had a piece this morning. All right, let's twirl. Sit. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good boy. Oh, that was a really good one. Oh, geez. Okay. Shake. Shake. Good boy. Mm-hmm. Speak. 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 Ah, speak. 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 Come on, real speak. Speak. That, that was better. Good boy. Mm. And we're back. Feels so good right now. Oh, that was a feel good fart. Ooh. Oh, I got a whiff of that in this breeze. That was potent. Um, yeah, so nice and refreshed, full on food. I am a little warm already because I had to put my stuff back on, but still, I feel pretty dang good. Monty feels good. So, Monty got offered food for the last time in the middle of the day, ever. I, uh, he looked like he was hungry. You know, he wanted treats and stuff. And then I put him on just a little bit of food, a little bit of water, a whole bunch of pumpkin, and he would not eat it, no matter what. And it was the most ooey gooey pumpkin-y, just wouldn't eat it. I think he just wants more beef jerky and cheese, and uh, yeah, refused. 
So that was the last time for him getting offered food in the middle of the day. You know, I thought maybe he would just need the, the food to have energy and whatnot, but I just made it so delicious. It was the most mid, most delicious midday Monty food I've ever made for him, and he just refused. So that's that. I've had it. I've had it to here. It's okay, Monty. I'll just get a delicious dinner. Hopefully, fish, vicious dinner. So I put some more sunscreen on. Get a teeny tiny little beaver dam to skip over. It seems like, and then we've got another little portage. And then we're on our lake. We have got four hours of light left, so we'll definitely be to, to our lake within a half hour to an hour. So that gives us three and a half hours of time to catch a fish for a fish dinner. We're hoping for a Larry, Larry dinner, but you know, we'll take anything at this point. Now we're in, we're in desperation mode because we haven't caught a fish yet. Seems as though we've got a beaver dam. go. That was easy. I wish all portages were like that, you know? Just take all the challenge right out of it. Okay, Whew. we need to cool down. I shred my socks, my boots, took off my shirt. Mm-hmm, just need to get in this breeze for a minute. Probably put the shirt back on maybe, we'll see. Whew. Yeah, I put on more sunscreen. This spot, in particular, this arm is getting toasty too. But for some reason, this spot right here on this arm, this is the worst. So, definitely using some sunscreen today. I'm hoping for a little more cloud coverage <laughs> over the next few days. I don't want to get burnt the whole time and just get fried. But, you know, it is what it is. It's sunshine. It's okay. So, we are on the lake that we are staying for the evening. What I'm gonna do is get up around here to where it gets about 40 feet. We are gonna throw on the chartreuse slayer, the trusty old chartreuse slayer. And we are gonna be trolling around, trolling drop off, trolling rocky points, trolling, trolling, trolling. And I mentioned we're trolling until we either get snags, a fish, or neither, or a campsite. And uh, we have got three hours and 15 minutes till the sun sets to do it. And probably more like four hours of fishing and we're gonna fish oh we're gonna fish those four hours till the sun is down it's getting dark or until we catch something or catch a nice dinner one or the other is gonna come and i'm just really hoping 
that we get a fish right off the bat. We get what I would prefer, ideally, the perfect combination right now would be a nice lake trout about yay big and a walleye about yay big. That would be ideal. Or two lake trout about yay big. Or one lake trout about yay big. Or no, I like that. This is a little too big. Just that couple inches makes all the difference. But that would be ideal. That's what I want. I will settle for a bass or a pike or whatever else bites. Probably wouldn't need a bullhead or a catfish if those are in here and they happen to bite, but I take a whitefish, caught one of those before randomly on a Rapala. Pretty rare and random, but it happened. That happened on one of my first trips here. Or was it the first, the actual first? I don't know. While back. While back. Back when I used to come through here with the sea kayak. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a good idea, yeah. Having to repack your your hulls, every portage, every single portage, you had to repack and organize your hulls and then unpack and pack it into a backpack or a dry bag. That was a nightmare and they were just heavy. Ugh. Ugh. And I've got big feet so I could only fit in with, I could only fit in my sea kayak with my Crocs, my feet can't wear boots, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We're back in the burn. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but it's, so see how it's kind of just, you see a bunch of trees sticking up, a bunch of dead trees sticking up all along the horizon, and then you get right to here, and it's peaks of the pine trees that are still alive because we're on the edge of the burn. You can see it more right here. Look at that, all that young growth and those dead trees just standing out. And then you look over there and you got some green pines and even further on that shore. And that's not in the burn. It's crazy. Okay, I have got the absolute nicest, most brand new chartreuse slayer in the box on. No steel eater, no swivel, just tied straight to the lure on my uh, pole with the eight pound test fluorocarbon leader. We're going the best chance we can of fish. I don't want it to have any reason to say no to this lure. I don't want to see the swivel and be like, eh, or the steel leader, be like, eh, or just the, the line because 12 pound test, be like, eh, everything. It doesn't matter. We're going ham. We're doing it. So we're going to let out about 150 feet of line way back. I'm going to cross, we're going to get snags and stuff, but that's okay. We are going to try to get a fish. No camera on the line, nothing, none of that jazz until we've got dinner secured. If I catch, if I catch dinner early and we set up camp, then I'll tie that stinking camera on and troll for 15 minutes, however long it lasts. I hooked it up to my battery charger and it it didn't take any, I left it plugged in all night and it didn't take any charge away from my power pack. So I don't even think it's charged. I don't know what's going on with that stupid thing. It's junk, it's junk, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, line's way out there. Let's catch a fish. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Crossing by our first campsite choice. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a little tough to get into it just because like steep rocks next to it, but uh, looks like it'll have a nice sunset facing this way. Hmm, not too bad. But since we've got all the time in the world, a record amount of time to select a campsite, we're gonna look at the next one and maybe a few after that. Hmm. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> we've got a fish. Walter, come on. Larry, come on. Bobby, we'll take a Peter too, as long as you get to the boat. Oh, it's, at first it hit weird. I'm thinking it's a smaller fish because it's coming in so quick and easy. Whatever it is, if I get in the boat, we're gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, it's pulling a little bit now. Ooh, ooh, it's getting feisty. Oh no, no!
the part where I mentioned I was going to eat it and I was just too excited. Dang it. Okay. 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 Let's try again. Let's try again. part where it bit is the part that I actually thought would be good for lake trout. Um, it's like there's an island here and it goes around a bend and there's like a nice steep drop off around this whole point here. And as well we're approaching this so whenever I have a spot that I think there's going to be a fish near and I troll over it and I get a bite or catch one, I usually reset and go to the same spot which is what I'm doing now. And if I get another one here, then we know a good spot. Forever. Forever. Hurts the pride a little bit, but I'm confident we're gonna get more bites. I just gotta maintain that positivity. We've still got, you know, three hours until the sun sets. Three and a half of fishing. Breathe, we can do this. Oh, we can do it. We can catch a fish. We need a fish. We need a fish so bad. See how it's all burnt on the left and it's nice on the right or it's unburnt. I definitely read the map wrong as far as the boundaries of the fire. Seems like everything on this shore is going to be burnt for a ways and everything on that shore is not burnt. No fire. But I don't think it goes the whole stretch of the lake. For some reason when I read it I didn't see the other the line there. Thought it was going the whole way. I think what we're gonna do is uh, paddle until I this there's one campsite that uh, seems like it'd just be a good spot. Nice open view. Might be able to see a good sunset. And if it's not taken, we will set up there and then we'll get back on the water quick. But I'm gonna switch to a spoon. We'll try a spoon for a bit, even though I know this already works. I've had luck with Lakers before with a nice big spoon too, so it's a nice sunny day, so what was that? Am I hearing things? I'm hearing Larry's? Yeah, so a spoon will be nice and glimmery with this bright sun, so maybe that'll work. Ah, what the heck? We're gonna switch to the spoon now. I got the green and white three quarter ounce Cleo. Well, no other bites. Found a campsite. It's got a nice view, the big portion of the lake, right, you know, on a rock sitting on the edge with the, a fire pit. Yeah, beautiful view. We should have a nice view of the sunset if we happen to be here for it. I'm hoping we will. We have got right around two hours till the sun sets. 
I'm, ho I'm just gonna throw up the tarp or the tent real quick and then I'm just gonna grab a few pieces of firewood that I can process up later and uh, we're gonna get right back on that water because I want to catch a dang fish I'm pretty sure that was a Larry the Lake Trout that we had on it just felt like it so yeah I'm eager I think we're just gonna go back to the chartreuse slayer the rest of the night that thing has never failed me when I needed it to, the most I always go back to that lure so I'm probably just gonna stick it out with that one and yeah we can't just be eating spaghetti every night I mean we can and we will if we have to but we don't want to Monty wants fish Monty I just found a nice spot over there. That do wants fish. No, 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 no time, no time, no time, Monty. No, no, no time, no time, no time, no time. No time, no time. No, Monty, stop it. Monty, no time. No, no time. No time. No time. No time. One quick. That was it. 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 One, one, one. One, one. I'm sorry. No time. No time. I'm deep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, hey, you. You jerk. You big jerk. Hour and ten minutes till the sun sets. I've put on a whole thick layer of chapstick on my lips because they were chapped like crazy. Sun is looking good. Breeze is calming down. We are gonna try as hard as we can to troll and catch a fish. We're going with the chartreuse slayer. Not gonna dink around with anything else. I know it works. I know it works for all fish. Walleye, bass, pike, Larry the lake trout, other fish. You name it, it works. So we are going with that lure. We already had a fish on with it, so there's no reason not to use it. We're just gonna hope that we pick one up. It's the eye of the Monty and we need some fish now and I hope with a Monty we will catch some. It's the eye of the Monty and if we catch some fish then we will eat it up tonight on the fire. Okay, I've identified our first nice drop off. We're gonna try some areas that we haven't trolled to before. If I don't have any luck, I'll troll back to that spot, but it seems like there's a whole lot of good areas for them to be, so I should just keep just trolling. Trolling. Trolling, 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 trolling. Okay, let's do this. Let it begin. No snags. No snags. Come on. Just fish. No snags, just fish. Oh, I need to calm down. Breathe.
rural areas, I'll give you three pieces of beef jerky when we get to camp. I promise. I'll throw the stick for you a whole bunch. Okay? Just tell me where he is. Come on. Come on. I had someone recently ask me, why do I not, do I not, why do I not troll two lures? That is because I'm not allowed to. The rules are that you can only have one line in the water. And I think I can put uh, two lures on that line, but that's a, that's a just big tangled mess waiting to snag. So I, I love having two lines out because that just doubles your chances. Just double, you can try two, two different lures, two of the same lure, you know one's working. Very nice, but I can't. So, one we use, one we will hope for. All right, we're gonna try something that I see on the map. Um, I know lake trout like humps and like a nice flat spot. There's a spot that looks like it's like 30 or 40 feet deep and it like looks like it just it slants down and it just goes flat and then maybe slowly slants down. So we are going to go pass over that a couple times. And I'm actually sick of staring at the sun, looking right at it. So yeah, we're going to put our backs to that sun. We're making a fairly decent sacrifice tonight. That site that we have is just, it's set up for just a perfect sunset. It's still getting blasted with sun. So, oh, ah, dang it. Well, we are in search of something more important than a sunset. Watch a million sunsets, because it happens every day. But you can't catch Larry every day and have a fish dinner. Maybe you could. I don't know. I've just got high hopes that maybe it'll just miraculously happen in the next five minutes and we can scoot over to camp right there and uh, catch one or have our fish dinner over the sunset, you know? Well, I do love sunsets. My need to catch a fish is, is starting to... My drive to want to catch a dang fish is getting up there. It's turning into a necessity at this point. I can't take it any longer. Oh, my heart just jumped. It went boom, 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 but it was, and then it caught and snagged really good. It was, I guess we hit a shallow spot. Oh, I thought it was a fish just so much. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, the sun is about to set behind the trees. No! Okay, so I, I just saw some fish near the surface of the water back here. And I couldn't tell if they were bait fish or something else. So I'm going to put on a jig and just go off a hunch and just try a little something and be quiet and just see if maybe it could possibly be what I was thinking it could maybe be. Maybe?
I don't want to talk about it. That was a wonderful cast. All right, our last effort is we're gonna troll this shallower lure closer to shore and uh, way back. Let's see if that works. We're just gonna go down here and go that way and head back to camp. Oh, beaver, please. Well, I think we're going to head back and salvage what we can of this beautiful evening over the campfire and just have some spaghetti that'll be okay we only lost two fish today we only had two fish on this whole trip it's all gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine <laughs> Poop. thanks for your song wonderful bird i need it so does monty He's going to be eating dog food and pumpkin this whole trip. He just can't have that. The beaver just splashed like 10 feet away from us. Scared the crap out of me and Marty. Monty. Oh, he got us good. Beaver. I just got a little present for Monty. It was just floating in the water next to that angry beaver. Well, I'll show him. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to still have a nice little sunset.
Heaven to Betsy. This is by far the warmest evening so far. I don't even feel like I need a hoodie on right now. This feels like straight summertime. I'll probably put it on because there's mosquitoes out. It's not like a... I, I'd be borderline too warm in my hoodie right now. Probably would be a little too warm. The other two nights have been definitely chilly by this time. This is a nice little campsite. I love campsites where you just have this big overlook of the lake. And you can see the sunset too. Just like right now there's just the glow of the horizon. Camera doesn't pick it up so well. It doesn't do so good in the low light with the lens that I got. It doesn't do bad, but it's past the point of where it'd look good. Got my little pile of firewood that I gathered, I gathered that earlier, just processed that up. I'm sure you can hear me doing that with the saw. We got the brush out. Because Monty's gonna need a little bit of this. You yeah, have Monty, yeah, you're gonna get this. This is for you, and that stick is for you too. Oh. So we need to treat ourselves tonight. I need a little cup of hot cocoa, some candy, well, first things first, let's get a pot of water going. <sighs> then we can get your food ready, my cup of hot cocoa. Everybody's happy. Right? Now this trip we've been, since there's no fish dinner so far, probably will never be. Knock on wood. <laughs> but he's just getting, he doesn't have to wait for his food. As soon as I get the water, he has been a picky little devil though, I will say. I don't appreciate the pickiness, Monty. This, that that gravity filter you saw it earlier, um, I had a little shot of it. Um, I love this thing. If you do this canoe camp and stuff, get yourself, just don't, don't use those pumps anymore. Those are, those are in the past. I mean that trail shot thing I had, that little pocket one, that's pretty good. That does a good job, but, Get a gravity filter because I filled these while I was setting up the tent. Now I'm gonna get my pot of water going, and I am just gonna go stick this back on the filter, and it'll be filled in probably two minutes, and then I can fill up that one again when that one's empty, and then I'll probably have enough for one more of these, maybe close. But either way, that gravity filter. I love it. It's probably my, probably one of my favorite pieces of gear. Just having hands-free fresh water all the time. Highly underrated. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's a towel. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Oh yeah. Gotta get any any of that wetness if you got any of it. You know. Yeah. You like getting towel dry, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Get that neck. Now it's time for one of your least favorite things. Don't you run away. Don't you run away. The brush. Yeah. You got a little damp today, so I need to run it through you, Monty. That booty, that booty. Gonna brush some Monty booty, that booty. Okay, Monty, you survived. You survived, Monty. You survived, yeah. You did it, yeah, you did it, yeah. Yeah, you survived. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, you want a stick? You want a stick? You want this nice beaver stick? I wanna throw it down there, but I can't see it. It'll probably go right in the water. Get it, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here. I never know what he's doing to the sticks when he does this. Bring it here, Monty. 
What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing when you're doing that? What are you, like, what's... Oh, jeez, you're trying to hit me with it? Hey, hey be careful. Monty, you're trying to attack me with a stick. Jeez, Monty, what are you doing? Huh? Go get it. Oops. Or should I say poops? the life out of the stick. <laughs> Jeez, Monty. You're crazy. He's crazy for this beaver stick. Because you're so smooth. You feel like you're alive. So I just need to attack him and thrash him. Okay. That's that. How about we have just one, one quick little piece of beef jerky? Just you and me. Just a little one, just a little taster. There you go. Monty, get out of me. Monty, I can't see. Monty, you are just, he is just right in my face. That's a hungry Monty. Monty, you need to, you need to learn some patience. Go lay down. Lay down. Okay, you want to face that way. Oh man, you're a stinker. You're the cutest little stinker, aren't ya? Wait. I did hear something. I heard it too, Monty. Let's go check it out, Monty. I don't know what it was. I don't know, Monty. Okay, I think our water's hot enough for hot cocoa and Monty's food. That way it'll be cooled down a little quicker, right, Monty? Yeah, I like, I always love a good cup of hot cocoa out here. Tried it in powder form. <laughs> Prefer it in liquid form. Oh, it's hot. Alright, Monty, Monty, Monty. You're gonna need to let it sit for a minute. Spaghetti time. I've been making my spaghetti extra soupy. I like it. I like it a lot. Mandy, just chill out, dude. You're gonna get your food, and I'll give it to you as soon as it's ready. The second it's just perfect for what you like, because you've been so picky, you will get it, okay? You don't need to just stare in my face. Okay? Well, we're just gonna wait for our food here. I'm gonna munch on a couple pieces of candy. And uh, look over my maps. I love looking over my maps. Past trips, this current trip, see what we got going on tomorrow. We're gonna try to catch a laker on the way out of here tomorrow. I'm gonna start with a piece of chocolate. Mm-hmm. I feel... Where is it, Monty? Go get it. 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 Okay. Yeah. I feel like tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow we're getting a fish. 
and if we catch a fish tomorrow, I don't care what kind it is. If it's early, we're keeping it. If it's late, we're keeping it. If it's a pike, we're keeping it. If it's a bass, we're keeping it. If it's a fish, we're keeping it. I don't care, Monty. I'm gonna help you, okay? Okay. Come on. Come on. It's okay. He's like, no. I can't see the food that way. What are you doing? Okay, he has been staring in my face the entire time, just been waiting for it to get to the right temp, Monty. I know you want it, okay? Alright, go ahead. I'm still feeling good about catching a fish dinner. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. No, 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 no. We've got some good days ahead of us as far as potential fishing goes, so. I'm gonna take one of these little Lindor chocolates. I'm gonna put it in my mouth and then I'm gonna sip some hot chocolate into my mouth and let it just kind of melt and turn ooey gooey. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be extra soupy tonight. Oh, beaver, please. I'm about to eat my soupy spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice and soupy. The beavers really don't like that me and Monty are here. They're going crazy out there. Right around camp. Mm. Mm. I let this sit for about 37 minutes and it's still fairly hot. Mm. The whole time. Doesn't matter how many times I eat this. It's still delicious every time. What'd you hear, Monty? All right. I'm gonna scarf down my skeddy here, clean up my mess that I've got going on here, and do the same thing I've been doing every night. Put on my fire and whatnot, and then uh, we'll be crawling into that tent, but I wanna shut off the light and look at these stars, because they've been out every night, and I just like seeing the stars, so yeah. Shutting up that light, gonna continue looking at the stars. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys when I'm ready for bed. Okay, Master Matis, come on. Come on. Come on, Matis. Go ahead. Go on in. Go ahead. Oh, you're messing everything up. Not so bad. Come on, lay down now. Yours seems like it needs a little more air, huh? God, you're bringing so much. Oh, jeez. You're bringing so much stuff into the tent, huh? Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good boy. 
So, another beautiful day in the sun with a nice sunset. Oh, Monty doesn't want to snuggle Dad. Okay, whatever. No fish. I had two on for sure. Didn't get them, but we're looking forward to tomorrow. And if we don't catch any tomorrow, we'll look forward to the next day. We ain't giving up until there's no time left to catch fish. That's for sure. But uh, we've got like five porridges tomorrow. Only two bigger ones. The other ones are kind of small. We're going to do the whole day of fishing again. So, um, yeah, I'm satisfied right now. So I'm going to pass out. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. What did you bring in here? What are you doing? What did you bring the stick? <laughs>